Tough one last week. We'll get back to Bristol in the dirt, but this, uh, you, you've actually had a few, three top tens at Super Speedway, so I don't know if you're sweating because it's hot up here or because you're going into Talladega. <laughs> but no, what's, your, what's your yeah. approach today? <laughs> well, it's, um, it's, there's always been a very interesting race. Uh, when, you, when you try to have an approach for this one, it really gets unhinged pretty much by the time you get to turn one on the first lap. So you just have to be ready to adjust throughout the entire day, whether it's the driving style you're going to have in the car or strategy on, on pit road with, on, with, you know, with Randall and the guys on the box. So um, for me right now, you know, with, with our car, we got one lap of, of qualifying. Really don't know how it drives by itself, um, but it seems like it has some pretty good speed compared to the other cars. So hopefully learn a lot about what our car has in these opening laps and then figure out what's going to be the smartest way for us to approach this race today. So Tyler. Your um, involvement in RCR has kind of coincided with an upswing in performance to that organization. And I've kind of wondered, we all know that they've had a heavy involvement in the development of the next gen. How excited were you coming into this season to be driving an RCR car with the development that they had? And how is that playing out? Are you guys seeing what you expected from your cars? Well, this car has definitely been a big learning curve. Uh, you know, when I, when I had my hand in some of the, the tests at, at some of the tracks, really didn't really even understand how the car was going to really generate downforce or where it needed to be. And, and now seeing where these cars really transition to with getting that diffuser down as low as you can, it's really a lot further away from where I expected it to be. But uh, our involvement in, in just the tests and, and just how much we've been trying to take notes and learn. Uh, so when we got those organizational tests in the, in the end of last year and seeing how good that went for us really got us motivated going into the off season and getting ready for this year. All right, Tyler, nobody, and I repeat, nobody's knocked on the door harder to a first time win than you. Last weekend, so close. I mean, literally the last corner. I know that one was tough, but you watch that and I'll see Debbie Alice, you see Bubba Wallace. I live Brad Keselowski getting his first win here. Where is your comp? Oh, man, there it is. Yep. I know it. we're going to get that out of our mind, but nonetheless, you were knocking on the door. That was so close, just like it has been everywhere else. How is your confidence on these super speedways, and how can you make this one be your first win? Well, it's certainly been a bit of, you know, this this whole car has been kind of a reset in itself, and just the the, the way that you were able to speedway race with the last car, uh, with, you know, was a little bit different than the Xfinity car. This car seems quite a bit different from any of that, so that in itself has been a reset button for us, and unfortunately, Daytona, we just weren't really happy with where we were. It was pretty difficult to go up there and mix it up and really make the moves that you need to to begin to learn and kind of build notes, so I'm hoping today, uh, you know, we're more competitive in that sense so we can get up and, and, and get in the mix and try and learn what we have and then understand from that where we need to be and, and how, you know, we need to make our move at the end of the race. Yeah, you have four career second place finishes. A lot of people rooting for you. Maybe this would be the one. And here in uh, the Talladega, Birmingham, Alabama area, you went over the USFL game, did something kind of, kind of cool. It was it was NASCAR day at the USFL yeah. game on Fox. Yeah, that was really cool. I've never gotten to drive a car in the on a, on a turf field before. The pressure was on because... Uh, uh, you know, if I spun the tires out, did some donuts, I was going to tear the turf <laughs> up pretty bad. It's rubber. so Game I, over. Uh, yeah, I would have gotten in some big trouble. But that was really cool. It was great to have uh, take a guaranteed rate car down there and to get to hand out the, the game ball. Yeah, pre Wait. presenting the game ball. Well, good. thanks for coming by. Good luck yeah. today. Have fun I'm out there. Folks, Thank let you. him hear yeah, you. It's, uh, it's exciting. My, uh, someone reminded me of all my first career wins. All right, coming up for the